Hi, my name is Corey. I work at SoundSlice. And in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to plug in SoundSlice content on your own website. You might imagine that this is behind something like a paywall or in a members only section of your own website. Before we get started, there are two pages I want to make sure you're aware of. SoundSlice.com slash licensing has all the details about the specific licensing plan that embedding slices requires. You can find all the information there. As well, I'd recommend that you go to SoundSlice.com slash help and click on the embedding button. It'll show you all the instructions that I'm about to go over, as well as many more customization options that we'll only take a peek at today. And just one thing we need to do before we start on this embedding journey is to set up your allow list. Go to your SoundSlice account settings and scroll down to the bottom of the page where you'll see an option for embed allow list. Click on that and you'll see a box where you can type in the name of your website. This gives you a lot of security so that when you enable embedding on your slices, somebody else can't copy and paste them onto another website. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my domain name and save it to the allow list. So make sure you do the same thing with yours and follow the guidance about how to structure the text of your domain. So let's get started. I'm going to show you a very simple web page that I've put together here. You might imagine that this is a blog on my own website uh, or some kind of members only lesson section. I've written a quick post about a musical riff and I'd like to embed a slice right beneath my paragraph here. So to do that, I'm going to go to my SoundSize account in another tab and pull open the slice that I'd like to embed. Make sure you're in the editing view of that slice and bring your cursor over to the upper right hand side where you'll see our privacy settings. If you click this drop down, the very last option says embed this slice. Click on that. Here you'll see the options to set the embed settings. By default, embedding is disabled on slices. Once you enable embedding, you'll see a small bit of code that you'll want to copy and paste directly into your web page. And it's as simple as going to your HTML for your page and pasting in the iframe link. So I'm going to do that now. I'll open up my other program that has the HTML for my web page. I've left myself a comment right where I want to include the iframe link. And it's really okay if you don't know too much about HTML because all you need to do is paste that link where you want it. If you're using a content management system like Squarespace, Wix, or WordPress, then you won't really need to fiddle with any HTML at all. While you're editing your pages using one of those platforms, all you need to do is look for some kind of tool that allows you to embed. So here I'm on a Squarespace help video and they're showing you how you can incorporate different types of content. I'm noticing that one of those tools is called embed and that's exactly what you wanna do. So if you're in WordPress, it's probably a similar thing. You're just looking for the tool that'll let you paste in your iframe from SoundSlice. So anyway, now I'm gonna go back to my page. I'll save this page here and go back to my website and refresh. So easy as that, my web page now has this embedded sound slice lesson. So this is really awesome and so easy to do. Now I'd like to show you a few customization options to change the way this appears by default whenever someone loads it. To change the height of the player and perhaps make it a little bit taller, that's as simple as changing the height attribute in your iframe. So let's just say I'll move this to 700, save, and refresh the page again. So this just gives me a little more room on a big screen. Now let's say that I want to make it so that the video loads on the top by default. Right now it's set to load on the side, but maybe whenever someone loads the page, I'd prefer that it be right in the middle for this video. Well, go over to the help page and click on customizing. This submenu contains a number of options that are gonna let you customize the way somebody sees the slice for the first time on your page. To change that video position, go to playback options, and you'll see an option here for force top video equals one. Now, I'm not gonna go through every option here. You'll really get the most out of this if you take some time to explore this, but for what we wanna do now, this is really simple. All you have to do is copy and paste that bit of text and at the very end of your embed link, put a question mark followed by the pasted in text. Now when I save this and refresh my page, you'll notice that the video is going to load on top by default. Okay, so that's looking a little bit more like I would like. It's kind of fun to customize these things by making one little change at a time. This will help you get an idea of whether or not you like the change that you just made. 
and make it a little bit easier to keep track of all the things you're customizing. Something that would be very cool would be to enable the fretboard view by default so that when people play this for the first time, they'll see the light up tabs right away. To make sure the fretboard loads by default, return to the customizing help options and go down to the visualization options. When I scroll through this list, I see fretboard equals one, and that's exactly the one I'm looking for. So I will copy it and go back to my HTML code. Now, immediately following force top video equals one, add a and sign, the ampersand, and paste your new customization option. Just so you know, whenever you chain multiple customizations like this, you wanna add the ampersand between every single one of them. So that's all you need to remember. Make sure you start with a question mark, and add an ampersand between any chained options. So now I'll save this and refresh the page to make sure it worked. Perfect. So now that I have this fretboard option open and it's taking up quite a bit of real estate on the screen, I think it might be a good idea to change the notation playback so that it plays horizontally rather than vertically. I think that might be a little bit better use of this space. So there is an option to make the notation play horizontally. If you go over to the functionality options you're gonna see horize equals one. That's what we want to enable horizontal playback. So I will add and horize equals one and save that. And right away, you'll see the change here. Now, I'm noticing also that the music is still a little bit too big. I wanna be able to see the full standard notation and tab at the same time without it getting clipped. So there's one more customization I'm gonna add here which is called h shrink equals one. And again, you can find all of these in that help menu. I just happen to know this off the top of my head. h shrink equals one is a notation zoom customization that makes it so you can see the full top and bottom of a given staff. So now when I hit play, this has exactly the kind of flow I'm looking for. <laughs> One last setting that I'll show you, just because I think it's pretty neat, is the ability to change the language on the player. Now the way the embed works by default when it comes to language is it will automatically take the language of the user's web browser settings and use that language. But if you'd like to provide a specific default, you can go to the design options in the customization help page and find the instructions for using lang. Essentially you say lang equals and then the language code for whatever language you would like to use. So I'll copy in this example here, which is ES for Spanish. And now when I refresh the player on my web page, you're going to see that here in these controls or over on the branding. But you won't see that in the title of the slice because that's not what that setting is for. It's only for changing the language of the controls in the sound slice player. So that's really the whole process. In just a few minutes, I was able to take a slice from my sound slice account and bring it over to my own web page. Your website can embed as many slices as you want, and you'll probably be combining multiple slices together into a course or some kind of learning path. So sound slice embeds are completely flexible in that way, and how you structure things is up to you. I hope you found this video helpful, and I encourage you to try out sound slice embeds on your own. Every account gets a free embed, so you can play with some of the customization options already. And again, there's more information at soundslice.com licensing.